So my thoughts on um, the week's progress are, um, uh, I guess, pretty basic. Um, one of the things that I struggled with is I wanted to turn this character, um, the secondary character, a different shade. I went in, I, I followed some steps, um, I completely forgot how to do this stuff, but um, I asked within CS and David helped me out and he uh, made a recommendation um, on how to uh, reshade uh, the secondary character, this person. Um, but I can't actually select um, those faces within Maya. Um, I'm not sure why I think it, it, it's got to be a setting that's um, in my version. Um, it's not needed. It, it was just something that I thought would be nice. I, I saw other examples from um, from the um, uh, from the class videos and from the vlogs that showed uh, different characters with different uh, shadings, and I thought it looked nice. Um, it might help um, differentiate between the main character and the secondary in the scene. Um, I had a lot of fun building uh, this background. Um, maybe if we're allowed to by the end of the month, I can, uh, or in another week or so, I can go in and apply some shaders so that, I mean, at least it's not all flat gray. Um, and maybe each of the little apartment buildings up here are, um, a different color, uh, kind of like a rainbow row. Um... I think for the most part, um, I'm doing well at the at the start of the scene. Um, so as you see, I'm I'm tracking fairly well uh, with the mouth uh, here at the beginning of the scene. Um, the the big hit here, scum like you. Um, I need to tighten the face. I need to make it um, tighter, angrier, and then loosen up a little bit around here, and then back into a, a, a sneer towards the end. Um, maybe furl the bar a little bit more. Um, for some strange reason, the the finger itself you can't see it in this angle, um, but in a perspective. It it bends off in this direction, and every time I, I try to make any adjustments with um, with um, the tools that are, are set up for the rig, um, it actually kind of breaks down here a little bit. It's again you can't see it from this angle. Uh, it's just more of a an aesthetic thing that was bothering me. Um, probably have to go in and straighten this out a little bit more. Um, maybe bring the hand up a bit more, a little bit more this way. Um, confrontational. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, yeah. Like I said, I, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this project. And, um, I mean, the, the movie where uh, which this uh, this quote comes from is The Man Who Knew Too Little. It's a, a Bill Murray film from, uh, I think it was 97. Um, it's right around the time he did What About Bob and a couple other films. Um, the sad thing is I knew most of the, uh, the audio clips. Um, I know the direction said find something that you don't know, but... I'm a very avid uh, video file and a lot of TV and movies, stuff like that. So I recognized most of them right off the bat. Um, actually, almost all of them. Um, at least the, the actors or the name of the show, the name of the movie, maybe not what the character was. But yeah, I mean, that's why I chose this one. I'm, I'm a huge Bill Murray fan. I worked with him a few years ago on a film. And um, I, we have stuff of his around my house. So I had to go with a, uh, a uh, William Murray-based uh, character.
Um, I'm really excited to hear what you think about it, sir. Uh, so, thanks.